Who from Spinal Tap is is the one who you think is the one? I don't mean to mix it up here. I don't mean to create any issues between you and maybe your longtime uh, colleagues. But Nothing. who's the one that's preventing uh, maybe a reunion here, Derek? <clears throat> that's a good question. Uh, uh, so good that I don't really know the answer to it. <laughs> Nigel, I know, has got his hands full. He's he's uh, yeah. been breeding miniature livestock for a few years down in, in Berkshire. <laughs> Right. And so he's he's got his thing. You know, guitar players are excessive people by nature. You would that's what you were doing. Yeah. When, when I was doing my steel panther. When you were doing thing. your steel panther, you were being excessive. That's how you said I'm a guitar player. Not by actually playing. <laughs> but by being excessive, right? Yes, sure. Right. right. So that's Nige. You mm-hmm. know, he's pushing it. He's always pushing the envelope right. and, and sometimes just throwing the envelope away and sending the, the thing without an envelope. Mm-hmm. So he's he's got these little miniature goats now that are very cute, but they're too small to milk. He's just pushing it, you know. (laughs) David, I have no idea. I have no idea. Where he is. Well, I mean, I get these, I don't use the, I don't use the internet uh, because I was addicted. That's right. I heard that, that you went to, you went to therapy therapy for addiction to the internet. It was a a, a place out in the countryside called Crosswinds. (laughs) And uh, it was two, two bouts of it. Uh Uh-huh. And, so I don't use the internet, but David sends me these letters yes. in the post sometimes. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking, great, let's see what David's got to say, right? Sure. And I open them up, and it's always the same thing. What it's, is it? It's Chinese pictograms. <laughs> bloody Chinese bloody pictograms, which I don't read. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of that. Sure. But uh, So I don't know if he's saying, ah. let's get back together, or great new record mate, or... Send me the duck and some dim sum. You know, I've no, no bloody idea. So. Derek Smalls of Spinal Tap here on the Rich Eisen Show. Is it true that Spinal Tap was once upon a time under consideration to play a Super Bowl? Is well, under consideration is what we thought. That's mm-hmm. what they told us. Um, we went in and, and played our set, mm-hmm. uh, and we got a couple notes back. Uh, too f- loud was one of them. Uh and that was one. Yeah, do you have to bleep that? You, we will subsequently, uh, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh-huh. all right. But that's what they said. <laughs> yeah. They talk like footballers, you know. That's the way footballers talk. And then the second thing was um, their lawyer rang up. Yes. And they said, we're going to have to be held harmless or wavered or immune, immunized, immunated or something like that. Right. Against if anything happens to the drummer. And? And we said, well, we can't do that. We can't make... make you know, the NFL hole or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> it's like, what would that cost? You know, in a bloody Super Bowl. Oh, they're going to come at us and say, oh, you ruined our Super Bowl with your dead drummer. Uh, <laughs> you owe us four billion pounds or whatever, you know. It sure. Was just that. It sort of made no sense, yeah. and, and they moved on. Do we know who they – was that was that the year they went with Michael Jackson instead? It was instead? Michael Jackson, yeah. Yeah, and he didn't have a drummer. So <laughs> I guess that didn't have the problem, you know. Yeah, that might have been it. Yeah. Well, it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing, and it would have been bloody loud, too. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.